Hannah Ferreira in Niagara Falls, where the state park is welcoming tourists, locals, and even NASA. I'm always impressed and sort of, I guess, relieved a little that people are actually interested in space. And Astronaut Jeremy Hansen will be making history next year as the first Canadian to fly to the moon. But right now, he's making a stop on the American side of the falls as the city prepares to make history during Monday's total solar eclipse. We maybe don't talk about it in our daily lives, but when I meet with people, the passion for this comes out, and I see it in a lot of people. This passion for space can be seen in more Cornelius, who has been planning to see this eclipse for the past seven years. We've been talking about coming here for this event since, what, three months before she was born? So they say that when you're in totality as opposed to anywhere else, you have a, there's a different like emotional experience because it's just it's so dark, it's so different. A chance for emotion and education. Educating the public on what the total solar eclipse is and what the sun does for us is very valuable. Whatever you're observing, share it with the people around you so that so that uh, this is what I learned and this is what you learned and we all learn a lot more together. Mark Salisbury yeah, flew in from in Utah. Oh, we were living in the east when the last eclipse went through the west and we missed it. When this one was in the east, like we really ought to go. We figured a couple of days off of school, it's worth it for a, a rare scientific experience. And with two nights left until the big day, Hansen is reminding us to appreciate its significance. As people watch the eclipse on Monday, um, just think about all the humans over time who have witnessed these things and the questions it's caused them to ask. And that curiosity of humanity has pushed us to this place where we now eclipse 8 billion people on the planet. Hannah Ferreira, 7 News, Niagara Falls.